didn't want to lose a patient because money. <laughs> Hi, this is Shadow, and welcome to my YouTube channel. So, 10th September, I saw everyone posting. I had no idea such a day exists called World Suicide Prevention Day. But seeing everyone posting their stories reminded me something. Uh, an untold story of my life that have definitely impacted my not childhood. <laughs> I was a teenager then. Yeah. If you have seen my last video, maybe you have noticed I said I don't trust doctors much, and there's a reason why I don't. Okay, so I don't even exactly remember the year. I think 2007 or 2009. That was the year my grandfather committed suicide, and he didn't leave any. No, no notes, no nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. And it was a big question, like, why did that happen? Because I was the most, I was the most dearest to my grandfather, and the weirdest thing was I did not cry at all. I still remember the time we received a phone call that something bad has happened and my mom started crying like crazy my sister started crying and that time I realized something is really wrong going on in this society and it's like really great that people really talk about suicide openly now but back then the first thing I was told was not to tell anyone that he has committed suicide. It was like he just ruined our family reputation. And I was like, what? Even then I was like trying to be <laughs> as positive as possible. I was thinking, okay, he committed suicide means he was ready to die at that time maybe that that was planned for his lifespan at least I, I wanted to know if it's a murder i'm going to take revenge i was feeling like that you know that at that time and but still i did not cry but that is something was like deep inside in me affected me very heavily so I don't even carry a picture of my grandfather with me because I have his memories. Maybe I need to get one. <laughs> I'll have to ask my mom to send me one picture. <laughs> but uh, when I was a child, I have a picture of me and him together. That is really cute. <laughs> I would like to include that in my video maybe. And then I remember, uh, I cannot look into the list. I don't know uh, what's going to be the video called. It's like very hard. Then yeah, that after I got into spirituality, I you know like I like I say it. Once you get into spirituality, you start getting all the answers from your past. What I actually figured out is okay. One thing I already knew that he was under medical treatment. Is, uh, what am I saying? I mean, the doctors knew that all his physical problems were not actually physical. It was actually something mental, you know. He, but still, the doctor did not recommend uh, to get uh, but still the doctor didn't want to lose a patient because money. <laughs> And after his death, someone from my family said, like a doctor said, he needs some extra care. He tried to keep him happy, but nobody told me about that at that time because I know he was sad because. 
I wasn't with him. I moved to Kolkata and when I was living in my hometown as a child, he he used to love me like he used to love me more than anything. He was a police inspector so he was mostly like travelling outside and maybe once a year he used to come home and that time was the best time of our life. He definitely used to love me more than my father did and during his last days I couldn't do anything. I was completely clueless and another thing I know why I'm still not married and never wanted to get married that is definitely because before committing suicide my grandfather actually he actually like uh, went to uh, all the neighbors I uh, mean the neighbors are our family members only he went to them he met with each of them and he said like maybe after like five years I am going to get married and he wanted to give me a gold crown in my wedding and he thought he's not and I knew that I knew like he's not going to be president by wedding so I just completely is that part of my life I never wanted to get married because and also if you see uh, I made a strict rule that uh, I will never do a wedding photo shoot I will never model for a wedding photographer or wedding makeup artist though I got a lot of offers but I said no I do everything other than wedding <laughs> wedding shoot and <laughs> it was funny <laughs> and yeah, maybe I should do a makeup or photoshop myself into a big Holly bride. Maybe that would like help me heal from inside. I think I'm gonna do that next. <laughs> That's for it guys. That's it. Give it a thumbs up and thumbs down whatever you like. I'm not crying, it's just see it's not tears, it's like um just it's, I have shaky hands and Tony knows. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Bye.